windows locked, so the killer must have come from inside the house. Jesus. Did I check the bed? Nothing interesting about the bed, except that it's next to a massive pool of water. Okay, what is this? Some high-heeled shoes have been carelessly left in the hallway. You're not sure which aspect of this would upset Mr. Brewster the most. Okay. You got an item? The shoes. 3D. Knock on the door. Be best if you report back to Mrs. Brewster first. Okay. We're going to report to Mrs. Brewster in the first floor. Okay, Mrs. Brewster. There's been murder. Mrs. Brewster stands by the kitchen door looking stern but frazzled. It's too frazzled. Weird. <clears throat> Mr. Brewster, I've had a look in room 3C. Did you find anything? I found a huge pool of blood. It was really gross. Did you find anything else? Yes, actually, an occult ritual circle. What? Oh my goodness, you think it was some kind of black magic sacrifice? I'm afraid it looks that way, ma'am. Well, I've always felt the Lodger's religion was no business of mine, but I won't stand for this one bit. Are any of your Lodgers involved with the occult? Do you know? Uh, I do recall that one of them specializes in selling occult supplies and paraphernalia, but I'm afraid I don't remember which one. You'll have to ask around. Okay. So let's see. 2D. Yes, yes, 2D, the, the pond with the 2D. How come the door? You knock on the door and nervous looking salesman peeks out. I'm warning you, I'm armed. Oh, I know you. Yeah, I think we'd met before. You sell Derringers, right? That's right, yes, you should buy one. There's a murder on the house. Well, I bought one, bro. I'm investigating murder. Oh, thank God somebody is. What do you know about the other salesman here? I know that there's a guy who sells a cold stuff. I give him a wide berth, though. All I know about him is that he doesn't live in the room below the sunglasses salesman. I see. Neither of them are the victim, by the way. Yes, I know. Okay, thank you. We've encountered the sunglasses salesman and this guy. There's no response. You tried the door, but the door's locked. Okay, so 2C is locked. 2B, knock on the door. You knock on the door, salesman pokes his head out. What can I do for you? I'm investigating the murder. Hey, yeah, grizzly business. Do you know the other salesman that lives here? Not really, just the guy who sells the little Derringer's pistol. He was complaining about the guy who lives right above him. That's the Trinkus and Bubbles guys, so he keeps making a racket dropping stuff on the floor at night. Probably doesn't help you much though. Well, it's something, thanks. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna start, let me just... I'm gonna get the clipboard and I'm gonna get do a little quick like this is um, the guy trinkets okay so so this is 3a 3b 3c 3d and in this floor we got 2a we got 2b 2c and 2D. This guy in 2D, I know him. He is the guy with the Derringers. Derringers. In 3C was the murder. And the guy trinkets in 3D. Trinkets. Okay. So we got three figured out. The 2C is locked. Okay, God, thanks. So, let me see, like, over here. You knock on the door. Who's there? I'm not opening this door with a killer on the loose. I may investigate the murder. Do you have any information that would sell? There's a salesman who specializes in occult stuff. Yes, I know. Which room is he? I'm not sure, but, he, but it isn't the one above me. So it's not here. No. He doesn't live at the same end of the hallway as the victim either. So it's not 2C and it's not 2A. So it can only be 2A, 2B or 2C. And 2B, what, what do you sell? 
I don't know what this guy sells. Go up. You knock on the door, voice calls out without opening it. Hello, investigating the murder. How well do you know the other salesman here? I don't know any of the other guys, although I think there's a guy who sells brushes. Whose neighbor with a house who says pants? Okay, so brushes. And pants. Which could be 2A and 2B, maybe. Okay, thanks. This is the bold murder. Uh, who are you? Investigating murder. What can you tell me about the people who live here? Pretty much keep to myself. All I know about the other salesmen is that the one who sells jokes and gags isn't the one who lives next to the one who lives above the one who sells brushes. Uh, the one who sells jokes and gags. So, jokes... Isn't the one who lives next to the one who lives above the one who sells brushes? So, brushes. And there's a guy over here. And it's not the one on the jokes. Okay, my diagram is getting a little bit weird. Oh, this is the guy with the sunglasses. Sunglasses. Yeah, okay. I was hoping you could give me some information about the people who live here. I don't really know any of these guys. There's a fellow who sells jokes and gags somewhere on this floor, I think. Okay. There's a guy that sells pants, but all I can tell you about him is that he, is, he isn't the guy right below me. Okay, so this is not the pants guy. So this has to be the brushes. And this guy has to be the pants. So I'm guessing this has to be the occult, 3B. I'm just gonna write it down in a different color. I'm gonna say occult. 3B. Okay, my investigation indicates that it might be 3B. Let's go talk to this lady. Excuse me, Mrs. Brewsters. Who lives in 2C? They didn't answer and the door was locked. Okay, this is Mr. Bruce, Mrs. Brewster. Mrs. Brewster. I guess you have a point. Okay. So, I know who... Yeah, I've solved the case. I figured out who the occultist is. Maybe if we confront him with it, he'll either confess or give us uh, some usable information. Yes, I'm certain. All right, shall we gather everyone together at the scene of the crime so you can do a dramatic reveal like in novels? Sure, if you want. I must say this whole murder business is simply dreadful. But it's the most interesting thing to happen here in years. Uh-huh. You head up to 3C, and after a few minutes, Mrs. Brewster meets you there with the salesman in tow. All right, well, I suppose you're all wondering why I've called you here today. I assume it was so you could tell us who did the murder? Yeah, that was my guess too. Right. Yeah. Um, as you can see by this weird circle on the floor, this killing probably had occult significance. Therefore, the most likely candidate uh, is the occult good, uh, goods salesman, who is 3B. What? No, I mean yes, I do sell occult supplies. We, we figured out. That isn't even one of my circles. Are you actually accusing me of murder? Um, I think you're the only likely candidate. That's crazy. You're crazy. Tell it to the cops. But suddenly, the wardrobe door flies open. A salesman jumps out. Haha, <laughs> I fooled you all pretty good. What the? Who the heck are you? I am the victim. I sell jokes and gags and stuff. Oh. Well, this was the good joke guy. How do you like my new giant fake rubber pool of blood? Isn't it a scream? Oh my god. Here, let me give you something for being such a good sport, kid. Wear it in good health. You got an item. Foot's ring. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta roll this blood back up. Nine people in this tiny room is eight too many. We're back in the lobby. 
Well, you could have gone worse. That occultist gentleman was quite offended by your accusations, but I believe he'll get over it. Here's your pain, young man. We got 12 meat and 10 XP. Thanks. Glad to be of help. I would say that I'll call if I ever need your services again, but I think one exciting thing happening here every few years is quite sufficient. If it happens again, I'll just go in to throw everybody out. Good idea. Okay. So, we're still at 3 Moxie. We have extra high heals, make your step higher. Foot thing equipped, makes you more likely to encounter travel salesmen. What's your alternative? Oh, I don't have any other things. Okay. Well, this is done. Let's see the to-do list, the side quests. Polish the filthy statues in Goldland Park. Yeah, but... Hey, easy! But, uh, Jesus! But I guess... What we need to do is just... Well, while meandering the streams of Ocean City, you encounter a man carrying a medium-sized piece of luggage. Not brief enough to be called a briefcase, but unsuitable as a suitcase for more than two suits. Okay, this is the other guy. You know, the other salesman. Hey there, friend. You look like someone who appreciates a fine pain apart. A, a, pay, a pair of pants. Do I? What does that even look like? Astute. Discerning. Even, they are said, perspicacious. I have never met anyone who dared to say that word before. Listen, I got a pair of pants here that is gonna knock your socks off. What? He opens his case and pulls out a pair of slacks that are all the stiff and shiny. Feast your eyes on these babies. What's up with them? What slacks? They're wax, guarantees grease proof. They're yours for only three meats, plus two sneeze armor. Um. This is not what I need. No oh, thanks. Passing up in the chance of a lifetime. See you next time. Okay. Uh, what's like over here? No fishing. This hobo is really going to town on that uh, on that obo. Hashtag pawn. Chat with this guy. Hey, Mister, can you spare a little meat? Sure. One meat. He nods. You lose one meat. Thank you kindly, mister. Science center. What the crap? Look at these Tesla coils. Check out this gigantic pendulum. You don't trust that pendulum enough to get any closer to it. Oh, look at this, an Edison coil and a Tesla coil, they are just zapping each other. <laughs> Edison coil. Complimentary dihydrogen monoxide. Uh, that sounds dangerous. Isn't dihydrogen monoxide water? Discover your new favorite rock. Harvest the useful bits. You got glowing ooze, energizing powder, and frosted flakes. Explore the wondrous world of alchemy, make some potions. And you have the following crafting materials, okay? Basic potions, fancy potions, nothing. Can we make a basic potion? Luminous toothpaste, plus one mysticality, plus one cold armor, max HP. No, I would like something for the moxie for now. This exhibit would be most educational if any of the gizmos were late. <laughs> I got a little bit zapped. <laughs> that was crazy. No fishing. Since there's no water in the fountain, you assume it means no fishing for compliments. Good advice. <laughs> Maintenance hatch is locked. Okay, where is this? Like a butterfly thing. A rock. The world's least remarkable rock. I'm gonna reassure it. I got some H e e XP, nice. Let me check something. Uh, this ring is for the salesman. Maintenance overalls, maximum HP. Extra high heels, make your step higher. Oh, look at this! 
And now, we're just walking stupid. Nice. Okay, we're gonna be walking stupid. Awesome. Check this out, I'm walking stupid. <laughs> awesome, we have some plants over here. Botanical garden. I don't know what these things are. Pointy rocks, okay. Presented to Goldthwaite Park by Margaret something. Ocean City Comptroller. A few of my favorite pointy rocks. Looks like part of the sign has been graffitied. Okay, can I clean it? No. And we're just walking stupid. Okay, most likely we're going to be able to get different shoes. And we're going to be able to do the different walking stupid things. Check this out, Gabby. We're walking stupid. Okay. Can you give me another job, bro? Uh, exterminator. We got some real, real trouble at our Lepidopterium. Your butterfly zoo. Bunch of horrible monsters got in and I'm afraid they're going to hurt the butterflies. Some of them are rare and expensive. Can you describe these monsters? Very deliberately did not get a close look at them. Sounds awful, but all right. Okay, this is the thing over here where we were just walking stupid. Okay, so it's like these monsters over here. Attack the cricket. Okay. I'm going to try and use the last of the grenades. Ah, crap. Well, at least we completed that. Slapping around. Okay, gone. Flap slap, that guy. Nice. Oh, Gabby's immune to bleeding. Interesting. Have a little bit of rock, and now you get flipped. Gone. Excellent. Okay, now we're going to just mess with this guy. Oh crap! Uh, okay, so I don't have any more grenades. Deal five physical damage. You have no AP. Why do I have no AP? Okay, seven, eight. Seven. Uh, okay, I'm gonna hit this guy and kill it. That's better. Just immune to bleeding. And I'm gonna flap slap. Ow, I hurt a little bit. Thank you. Now we can use this. Screw you. Screw you. Okay, nice. Flap slap. Nice. Why do you keep attacking me? Thank you, Thaddeus. There you go. You've exterminated the last of the giant crickets. Thaddeus the cannery grows stronger. Nice. But Gabby was saying, hey, hi, hello. And we're just walking stupid. Anything else? A bench for sitting on while bugs land on you. Nice. This must be where the butterflies leap and dream that they are Zhuangzu. Uh, 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 I don't get that reference. Is it still a bird bad if it is for butterflies? Yes, it is. Okay, let's go talk to this guy. Get a reward. We get 75 meat and get 5 XP. Got rid of the gross monsters in the Lepidepter Bupium or whatever. You know they were actually giant. I want to know what they were, thanks. Like to sleep at night. Here's your official city payment. Uh, the thing is that I have enough money. But like I said, I, want, I don't want to spend all of that money. I need to do something about my moxie. 
I don't have anything for the Moxie. Well, you know what? Let's go back to Plunkett Street. Fast so uh, talking salesman approaches you and starts his speed before you can cross the street to avoid him. Say hey there, would you like to purchase a lot of encyclopedias? No. God no. Hell no. Absolutely no. I'm gonna go with no. I thought you might say that. Understandable? Understandable. But what if I told you this was just or no ordinary encyclopedia? Do you think that's something you're likely to tell me? So likely as to be certain. Step a little closer, would you? Okay. He opens his trench coat to reveal it, a set of dog-eared paperback books. This is no collection of boring facts. This is an encyclopedia of blue humor. Multi-volume collection of the lewd and lascivious. A trove of truly tasteless treasure. It's a set of books of dirty jokes? Precisely. And it's yours for the obscenely low price of 200 meat. A surely shocking jokes. A set of dog ear paperbacks. Somebody heard them all. Gives sleaze armor. No thanks. You want the book? You just want the, the people seeing you buy it. He strips his arm around, gesturing at nobody. Or what people? I just don't want it. He winks. I'll find you later. Somewhere more private. Slowly back away. I'm gonna talk to this guy about the things. Hey bro, I did the thing. How's the grenade project coming? I threw all six of them. Three of them blew up in my face. Hmm. Three out of five isn't too bad. I think I can still sell them. In exchange for re your research, I'll give you a discount from now on. How much of a discount? 200 meat in total savings across all future purchases. Here you go, you gain 200 meat. This seems less like a discount and more like a flat reward. I just don't like doing arithmetic. Okay. I do have enough money to just go and do the thing now. Physical armor. Coca-Cola ration cigarettes. Bad for you. Muscle. Muscle. These are weapons. Standard issue blue color grenade of questionable integrity. Mm. Put out everybody on your side of combat who is on fire. No, orchestra strike. Government issue sardines. This armor. Recover 1 AP. Deal 10 damage to the thing. Deals you mysticality plus 2 physical damage. Hot armor. Now, mm. hey, is that rock from the boarding house? Mrs. Bristol must have had it sent it to you as an additional gesture of gratitude, or because she hates it the way it looks and thinks it's cursed. Either way, it's core. Look at this. We got an armor thing, and now we can just walk stupid on it. Nice. Okay, I guess we need to check, there was a date, an 82, here. The cover story for that date is the sinking of the Pourquoi, a whaling vessel that operated off the coast of Ocean City. The story says that the wreck had only one survivor, Captain August Dirch. Despite his best effort to go down with the ship, he was rescued and transported by shore to shore by a friendly otter. How oh, nice. How simultaneously tragic and adorable. Hmm. Abby here. I think there's nothing else to do, right? Uh, yeah, never could figure out this. Okay, so we need to go. Um, where is it? Uh, Hopcam, no, Dutch houses. What? You pass by an alley where two women wearing grease stained coveralls and wel welding masks are slouching against the wall, sharing a cigarette. They glare at you as you pass. Hey, isn't that the bastard that Steel Mini was telling us about? 
They lower the mask and snap their fingers. The tip of their index fingers spark into white hot flames. The tin lizards have mages? Oh, well. Let's weld this tailpipe shut. I wanna fight them. You wanna dance? We dance. Okay, so we got. Let's see. Bronze Caddy the Welder. Bronze Kimi the Welder. Okay, we're gonna open with a stone. We're gonna throw it. And then we're gonna slap you around a little bit. Done. Hey, don't, don't, what the crap? Oh. Well, my bird is on fire, but it didn't take a lot of damage with that. Okay, just flap slap. Nice. Why are you fixated on her hurting the, 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 the pure, well, Thaddeus flew away. Now it's personal. So. I wanna throw this thing like over here. How much money does this? I mean, damage. Dealing three physical damage. Okay, so screw it. Gone. Okay, these things are still alive, so we're just gonna sort of flip it around. Gone. Okay, flap slap that one. That was for Thaddeus. Locations uncovered, the tin list is chop shop. Oh, inter interesting. Okay, we're gonna investigate that later. For now, let's just go to Dutch's house. Yes, hi, hello, yes. Um, knock. So I'm selling these fine leather jackets. No, we were dirty. Crap. No. The, okay, this is it. I want to ask you about the pure quote. Okay, we got a new option. All right, you better come in. Good. So that was good. We got the information, and we know this is the guy who was survived by an adorable otter. And we're just walking stupid. What is that? Fishing rod. Hmm. Can I take it? Any chance I can just take it? That ain't mine. I think the cat dragged it in. So is that a yes? I don't remember the question. Okay. Good. There's a cat over here. An elderly gray cat nervously washes itself in the corner. Try to pet it. Cat shies away from your touch. You notice that he's wearing a collar that says Ishmael. So call me Ishmael. Nice hand looks like it was dredged up from an old shipwreck. There's a blubber lamp on top. Examine the lamp. It's a simple device, gas vessel filled with whale blubber uh, with a wick uh, stuck in it. Blubber lamp really rolls off the tongue, though. Just a really delightful phrase. Say it. Blubber lamp? No. Ah, you're no fun. We got work to do. Okay, I'm gonna say it. I wanna see what happens. Blubber lamp. Incredible. Say it again. Blubber lamp. Great. Just great. Say it again. Blubber lamp. Yes, yes, say it again. Blubber lamp. I never get tired of that. Say it again. Blubber lamp. Blubber lamp. Blubber lamp. Blubber lamp. Blubber lamp. Blubber lamp. This is crazy. Okay, this is just a, a loop, you know? How many times could I say blubber lamp before I get something? No, it just keeps repeating. Blubber lamp, blubber lamp, blubber lamp. I, I, I'm pretty sure there should be like an achievement if I do it like a hundred times or something like that. Okay, no. Got word to do. Okay, let's talk to this guy. An old grey uh, bearded man is a sea captain's hat is glaring at you suspicious. Hello. What do you want? Well, I'm from the Ocean City Watchful Eye. You know the newspaper? Don't trust newspapers, nor newspaper reporters neither. Well, nor others. Well, the other is uh, kind of save you ass, you know? Fortunately, I'm only one of those three things. Can I ask you about the pure quad? Ain't nothing to say. Storm blew up unexpected. We hit a funny rock. All hands lost. That was decades ago. Why are you bothering me now? Uh, it's a slow, slow news day. So, what was funny about the rock? 
You ever seen a 30 foot black basalt obelisk sticking straight out of the ocean? Mm. That seems eldritch, you know? Can't say I have. Me neither. I've been sailing that road for years. So what if you say funny, you ain't mean as in ha ha. So what's with the rocks in your front yard? I know nothing about those. So for the date marker I put. Did it just come with the house? It was pop up once in a while. What's that got to do with anything? Well, nothing, I guess. How many were men were in your crew? I was uh, Pegleg, Handsome Jeff, and less handsome Jeff, and Old Barnacle Face. He looks askance at the row of urns. And uh, the other one. So five. What was the fifth sailor's name? I ain't recall. Uh, that's the one you took from the church, bro. He was new, just signed on for the last voyage. Didn't talk much. Eerie fellow, to be honest. Eerie? Spooky. And yeah, that's all I got to say about him. Have a lot of urns. Cruise bodies wash ashore after a time. Didn't finger, uh, didn't figure they want to see burial after what happened. So I had them cremated. Well, except... Except... That uh, fifth fella were well, never found. I ain't... I ain't recall how that urn got here. Well, from the church, bro. He was a member of the crew, all right. Proper, though. So you got as much right to be here as any of them. Did you ever visit that little cathedral? And if so, did you steal an urn? Hmm. Should I used to go any pay respect my once in a while? Back before my knee started knocked up. Got plenty of arms to talk to right though. Har. You talk to the arms? Hi. We shoot the breeze. Relieve all glories and such. You say that like they talk back. They do. I can see from your face that you don't believe me. So you can ask them yourself, land blubber. I guess I'll have a chat with your urns then. Fine. You got any more questions for me? Ask them now. I'm tired of this chit chat. I'm done asking questions. Thank you. Much abroad. Okay, so one of these urns. Oh, sorry. We we're just walking stupid. Hey, uh, hey, Gabby, how are you? Uh, one of these urns is the urn that corresponds with the cathedral. So we just want to walk stupid over here until we get to one. That's it. Oh, this guy is, is sleeping in. What is this? Oh, lamp. The plaque about this urn says Peg Leg Johnny. Mm, hello? The urn doesn't respond. Anybody there? We're gonna imitate the captain's voice. You look around to make sure the captain is asleep, then mutter gruffly to the arm. Ah, oh, there is Yanni. You can speak freely now, sailor. I got rid of the no good land lobber. A muffled, youthful, a youthful sounding voice replies. Yar, captain. I want anyhow. Uh, bah, nothing of import. You're la a basic landlubber pla prattle. Trying to sell newspapers and like that. Pay no, never mind. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll keep talking to the urn. Uh, how are things? No problem, Captain. Everything ship shape. Ha ha. Always happy to chew the sea biscuit with you, though. Sure, let's reminisce in about old days. Great. I love hearing your stories of nautical adventure. Um, instead of that, why don't you tell me how you got the name Peg Leg Johnny? Well, uh, it's uh, because of my leg, right? Got a peg leg. Sure, sure. How do you get it? I got it because I lost the original leg. I assume so, yeah, but uh, how? Uh, well, wait, weren't you there when it happened? Time for my nap. Time to you later. Okay. So talk to Handsome Jeff. So, how are you be doing, Handsome Jeff? Smooth sailing, Captain. You feel like talking over old times? Sure, I mean yarn. Why not? Right then. Which particular yarn from your past have you got in your mind? I am um, actually let's talk about you. Me? Fella next to you is less handsome Jeff. I so is this judgment of your relative's appearance little or is it more of an icon ironic re reversal sort of deal yarn? Well I mm, you never wait, wait a minute. Don't you remember what we actually look like? Ah, yes, of course I do. Gotta go by. So this is less handsome Jeff. Let's talk to the owner. 
Anything on your mind, Captain? Um, like what? Well, I don't know. Just if you wanted to walk nostalgic about old times or anything. Uh, all right. Right, so... Yar. Yar. Uh -huh. mm. All right. Uh, those old times, right? Sure, sure. Right, you are, Captain. Those old times we had together. Yar. We sure did. Many of them. Yar. Anyway, I'm glad we had this time. What about this one? Barnacle face. Everything going all right? Hi, Captain. Nary cloud in the sky. Good, great. Are you in a chatting mood? Uh, sure, you are. Well, you know me, Captain. Man, a few words and all. Happy to listen, though. Right, well, actually, I was wondering about your name there, Thar. B -b Barnacle face? What about it? I was just wondering. Um, why? I mean, of course I know why. But if you have any insight into... I mean, uh, you never actually said... That is, you never asked before, so... I thought you were ready. Right, yeah, obviously I'm ready. Anyway, if you're not comfortable discussing it, that's fine. Okay, yeah, good. Yar. Yar. This plaque about this urn says, Fifth sa Sailor, talk to your urn. A uh, sailor, how goes it? And that's what's new, but R? Keep talking. You're not a talkative one, are you, matey? Suppose you never were come to that. So, um, as you were then. Could you use some smokes, Captain? What? Smokes? Smokes? As in cigarettes? Yar. What well, doesn't earn what with cigarettes are? Mm. Well, all right then. Just leave it on the table like usual, please. Yar. Okay, but I'm, I'm still, I still think this is the fifth cigarette. Short wooden table. I mean, uh, the sailor. Short wooden table. There's an old orange silver train on top, but it's empty. The wash basin is full of salt water. This guy is really committed to the whole idea. So we salt water fish it. Salty fishing rod. Okay. You definitely fish some taffy out of the salt water. You got an item in spirit, me and taffy. Okay, what is this? Church career have been more successful. This would be a Commodore's Commodore. A what? A Commodore's Commode. Okay, shell full of nautical, uh, nautical non-fiction. Okay, so I have a problem with... Pretty sure this guy... The blubber lamp, yeah, we're not going to do that. This should be the urn. What do we do now? Get that albatross out of here. There's no albatross here. Uh, well, I don't know. Well, do the rocks have the creepy things? Well, amble away. Okay. Well, I guess we've just, you know, walked around enough. You know, let's go to the factory. And I think I have just enough. I don't have enough any means to get the moxie up, so I'm just gonna pay. I think I have enough uh, meat. You step dead in their tracks when you see three of those weird fishmen lurking in the mouth of an alley up ahead. They're peering around with their glistening, staring uh, eyes, glorying at each other quietly, until one of them notices you. It and its two companions start to uh, talking towards you, making wet, growling sounds like... <coughs> eh, jeez. What even are you guys? Blurp? Uh, well... Uh, are you evil invaders? Are you natives that were displaced by urban development, seeking to reclaim what's rightfully yours? The fishman conferred briefly. The evil? Okay, thanks, as long as we're on the same page. We, are, uh, we could fight them, shove past them. We could use a, a Call of Wars grenade if we had one. Uh, can I sh shove past them? I'm gonna fight them. Screw it. Okay, the tentacle is back there. So is that tentacle going to help us or attack us? Let me see, can I click on it? Oh yeah, the, that tentacle is an enemy. Okay. I'm going to... 
This one is tend to bar from your party. Let's just use the, the 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 rock in this one. Okay, that's good. And now I'm going to just kill this guy. And Gabby is gonna flap slap this guy. Oh crap! He barfed on everybody. A little bit of poison there. Okay, so you are going to throw the rock at this guy. Gone. And now we just slap the tentacle around a little bit. Oh, come on. Flap slap. There you go. You might say you reduce those chumps to chum. But despite that being a pretty good fish pump, it would also imply the existence of much larger fishmen who would be attracted to the bait. I don't think you want that. Okay, we got some meat, we got a bucket of chum, we got fish liver oil, we got some XP. Right. Okay, no, I want to go to the, uh, the, the bridge, uh, bridge, uh, fridge uh, factory. You stop short as you turn the corner and duck behind a lamppost. Down the street, three dog boys are hanging out in a thick cloth of smoke. Upon closer inspection, well, this is squirming, none of them have cigarettes. Okay, I'm just going to just attack them. <laughs> Holy crap! Okay, this is not good. So, what do we have here? 13, 15, 8. Okay, I'm going to just to go ahead and kill this guy. So, he cannot attack us. Gone. Good. Now, got a little bit slap around. Okay, you do the four physical damage. Okay, so what do we have? Uh, we're gonna we're gonna start taking care of business, I guess. Four. Mm. Okay, flap slap this guy. Nothing to do. Good. Flower storm. Okay, this is not good. Okay. What do we have here? Decrease target muscle mysticality and moxie. Uh, the damage. Five physical damage. Okay, I'm going to use this here. How much do you have? Six. This does five, five, five. Mm. You fussy the armor? No. Okay, you're going to throw sleaze damage to this guy. Nice. And in the meantime, how much do we have? Ten. I'm going to attack this jackass. <coughs> Gone. Okay. Nothing to do. Nice. And now, how much do you have? 10. I'm thinking you are going to heal all allies. Okay. We're still alive after the flower storm. And you got one more of this, so now we can maybe finish this. Okay, take it. And now, flip it! Whoa! Okay, flap slap. There you go. Nothing to do. Nice. We got freshly baked roll. This is increases muscle. Deals least damage. Plus two to magical weapons attack. Deals two physical damage to all enemies, and Thaddeus got one plus a maximum HP. Nice. Whee! Okay, can we get to the bridge factory without finding? Okay. So we got 489. That's good. Let's just talk to these guys. Try to make a deal. Would you take 300? We had uh, the three moxie. Looks like I'm a little light. Would you take 300? Well, all right. That sounds pretty fair. Okay, the meat. Thanks. Welcome to the club. 
Yeah, welcome. Uh, thanks, I guess. Here's your membership ring. He hands you a ring and the whole group of mobsters wander off, uh, divvying up your meat as they go. You got an item. F-O-P-B-U-M-E-G-G -G ring. Uh, this organization is actually real? Fop bomb egg? Time to check out the factory. Okay, and if you remember, all of this is because we are trying to track down another cursed object. So this thing does uh, gain 3-5 extra meat after combat. No, oh, oh no. Okay, let's see. Plus 1 mysticality, plus 5 to maximum HP. Plus 2 attack to magical weapons. I'm thinking we're going to use the, the HP because this thing uses mysticality. Let's see. 2 physical damage, moxie, muscle. Unless I get my moxie up, um, unpleasant hit now. Crack it open to deal your muscle in spooking damage once per fight. We actually should. I don't know. This does damage, you know. I'm gonna equip that. Reporter cufflinks, the foot's ring. It makes you more likely to encounter traveling salesmen, which is always good. Uh, the Glockling Lozen, plus one physical armor, plus three to maximum HP, plus one physical armor. The high heels, which is walking stupid. And we got Thaddeus. And Banana. Banana heals a random wounded ally by his mysticality. Now I prefer what the Thaddeus does. Okay, so. Well, we're just walking stupid. Magic Ma Mech Tech Refrigeration. It's a refrigerator refrigeration truck uh, but not the kind you're probably thinking of but there's a, like another kind of refrigeration truck if two counts as a fleet they have a whole fleet of these things whoa it's really cold over here forge ahead requires one cold armor okay i don't have a cold armor to see what what is this an old toolbox uh, sharpening stone piece of scrap metal disposable ratchet Opening this door would make a lot of noise and draw a lot of attention. Also, you don't actually know how to open it. Well, okay, we're inside the refrigerator factory. This is where they build them refrigerators. Hey, Gabby. Do you want to gab a little bit? This is fun, getting into fights. Like a good fight, Gabby? Yes. There are not usually so many fights around here. What an excitement it is. And you do a lot of slapping. Do you know how to make a fist? What? Here, look. You curl your fingers in like this, and you put your thumb over the he them here. That's a fist. You squeeze all that tight, hit people with these knuckles here. It's more powerful than a slap. Whoa, keen as a peach. Wow. Gabby Flap Slaps now deal three additional damage. Okay, so we have reasons to keep gabbing with Gabby a little bit. Everything with Gabby? Keen as a peach. Send Gabby to the speakeasy leap. Okay, we're good. Interesting. I thought, uh, you know, like, other than the standard dialogue we already unlocked, uh, there was no other reason to keep gabbing with Gab. But no, she gets, like, the, the new things. Oh, also, let me see. Character sheet. We got 88 unspent XP. We got Bamboozle. Doesn't count as line if we do it for a really good reason. Bend the truth for fun and profit. I'm gonna Bamboozle. Yes. Also, I want to up my moxie. Uh, but I don't have... A, how much do we have? I have 53. Maybe one plus muzzle. 20% item drops and meat drops. This is a good one. Good eyesight. Okay. I got 15. Okay, I'm gonna buy it. Screw it! You know, we're buying all the perks. Okay. This workbench doesn't seem big enough for re refrigerator repairs. Make some stuff. What kind of stuff do you have? Two piles of energizing powder, one handful of frosty flakes, one glob of logistic resin, and glo a glob of glowing ooze. And we make... 
We need har anarchist hardware to make fancy items. What about the combat items? Radioactive solve. Molotov shot. Sets an enemy on fire. Gain 2 AP. Handmade pep pill. Now for now we're just gonna do nothing. Okay, chest of tools. Whoa, sell for decent rivets, sharpening stone, disposable wretches, anarchist hardware. Oh, can we do something now? Fancy combat items. Nuclear bomb. Glowing ooze. Glowing ooze. 10 physical damage to all enemies. Wow. Gain 3 AP and increase AP region by 1. No, I'm, I want this one. This is good one. The nuclear bomb. Can we make another fancy item? No. Uh, deal 5 half damage. Gain AP. No, I, I'm gonna keep it. Okay, let me see a little bit here. So, this disposable ratchet. The greatest trick the marketing department of Black & Decker ever pulled was convincing people that these were single use. Increase an ally stat by 3 or reduce an enemy stat by 3. Sharpening stone. Adds plus 1 damage to a weapon. Oh. You're currently wielding a grimy, a grimy spatula. Sharpen it? No. No, because... My character is supposed to be have like the moxie as the main trait. The mysticality is just because I have a couple of effects. So we're going to hold on to that until we can get to the other thing, you know? And a couple of more moxie points. Okay. What are you doing, Gabby? Why are you going over there? These fridges are brand new and empty. Thus, quite boring. Okay. Nothing over here now. Okay, Gabby, just follow me as we're walk- Gabby, where are you going? Let's go over here. We're just walking stupid. Okay, there's a guy over there. Crane control. Control boost is locked from the inside. Somebody's gonna be in big trouble. You see, there's so Like, something is going down over there. Okay, we're gonna hide and watch. It's all there. All 40 cases. It's all there, Glock. What? Poindexter, what are you doing here? Surprise inspection. What the? Curious. What the heck? I don't know, something weird is going on over there. You should see what's going on over yonder, okay. That guy has now like a, the void as a face. And this guy just warped in. You see, this guy over here just warped in, did something. This guy now has the void face. There seems to be a bit of a standoff between the mob guys and the other ones. Like this one and this one. Uh, cautiously approach. The scary top hop nerd stares at you with barely any expression on his face, apart from a faint sneer. It appears that we have an interloper. Yes, we have an interloper. And you are? I'm Fuzzy Borth, bro. What's wrong with your hat? I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. It's all spooky and like uh, it's cutting a hole in the world, you know? I have no time for this nonsense. Mr. Glock? Blah, 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 blah. Curious. Regardless, please dispatch this interloper, Mr. Glock. Uh oh, it's going down. The top hat guy gives a tut nod and leaves the same way he came in, in a horrible, weird spiral, uh, spiral of negative space. The weird shadow monster that was once a person took, turns to face you. Hello. Shadow begins to gather around him. Abstract, menacing shapes. Uh, hey, hey, you mob guys! Can I get you to give me a hand with this? Considering the newly terrifying Mr. Glock is between us and the exit, seems like we got no choice. Take Glock on. Okay, we got a lot of people here fighting now. The shadow bunk. Don't do the shadow bunk, bro. Okay, let's assess the situation. 
Okay, what do we have here? This is Shadow Oliver Glock. 30 hit points. This thing, Shadow Spider, has 8. Okay. So, I want to start using some stuff. Dealing one spooky damage to Shadowy Spider. No, I don't need that. Give Fussy Bar three stench armor. Uh, okay. We're going to do some sleaze damage to this spider. It's gone. And now I'm going to attack this thing. Okay, and I'm going to attack this thing. Wow, I did only 5 damage. That was not good. Wow, that thing did the spooky damage. Minus 2 to all stats? Okay, I'm sorry, but we're, we might have to use like the, the, the nuclear option. Okay, 5 damage. So, attack this is flat flap. Done. You took a little bit of damage there. Some mysticality. Okay, nice. Reduce Shadow Oliver's Glock Muscle Mysticality and a Moxie. We're going to crank it. Crank it. There you go. Minus three to all stats. Okay, now I'm going to. How much do you have? You have two. I'm going to attack you with that. You took some damage there, bro. And I'm gonna finish this with a flip. Don't want any more combatants on the other side. Okay. Stop hitting Thaddeus. You suck. Okay. Flap slap. Nice. Nice. And I'm going to reduce your stuff. So you take even more damage. Minus three to all stats. Throw a rock at you. There you go. And you're gonna flip it. You survived, bro. You survived. Just flap slap. There you go. With the shadow creatures defeated, the two mob guys brush themselves off. Whew. This caper has got me all balled up. And how? This whole scene is naughty as a squirrel's mistress. Come on, let's scray. They tip their hats to you, make for the door. Okay, we're gonna investigate what's left of this shadow monster. He mostly dissolved into a cloud of that weird shadow stuff, but there are a few objects on the ground. A pocket watch, oh, that's the one we need. A bank pouch, in an official looking document of some sort. You got an item, dangerous pocket watch. You got another item, bank pouch full of meat. And you got another item, deed to the speakeasy. You take a quick look at the document. Turns out this Glock guy was the owner of the speakeasy. And now you are, maybe. Is that how deeds work? Yes. Well, why you know? Okay. 189. Let me see. Deed to the speakeasy. Legal document regarding an illegal establishment. Yes. Bank pouch full of meat. Any cash payment that's too small for a briefcase must be contained in a leather zipper pouch. It's the law. 300 meat. That is exactly how much we had to pay to get here. Okay, this is the dangerous pocket watch. The thinking of this pocket watch sounds hollow and ominous. You don't like it. It's just wrong. Okay, that's the curse object we're looking for, so we're good. And now we're just walking stupid. This booth looks dangerous and it also appears to be tainted with some kind of sinister magical energy. This fridge is plugged in. A little note on it says experimental, not for launches. But open it. Fridge has been fitted with an experimental automatic ice cube maker. Fortun unfortunately, it's made one single gigantic ice cube that fills the entire fridge. 
I guess if you ever need a block of ice as big as you are, here's where you can get it. Okay. And I will shake away the cloudy skies with the California lullaby. And when you're frozen with desire, we'll put our toes up to the fire. And I will sing your cares away. So let me take you back to Paris 